Okay guys, today I am going to set up a system that will allow me to measure the force that I can apply with my 5 to 1 block and tackle. The way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to use a 4 inch steel pipe as a lever to reduce the force that my pulley system will apply to a simple bathroom scale. So here I am setting up the pivot for the lever and so I'm going to use this tree as the anchor point for the pivot but I don't want to damage the tree so I'm hooking up a board that the pole will rest on and then I'm attaching a board that will allow me to lift the pole up off the ground and here I am checking with a square to make for sure the lever will align with the tree that I want to hook up the anchor end of the pulley system to. Now I need to move my truck and that will be where I prop the bathroom scale so that it has a secure location to rest against. And I'm going to fashion a way to hold the scale with these two boards that I have lying around. So I'm just going to screw them together. Here I'm marking with chalk to make for sure I know where the bumper is so that I can center the scale on where the bumper is at so that I will get accurate readings. Now I'm setting up a holder that will hold the scale once my platform is vertical. good so far. So now I'm using a rope to attach the scale to the platform so that it won't fall off. So now I'm attaching a board to the scale holder that will allow me to prop the pole on it and hold the pole up in place to push on the scale. Now it turns out that pole is pretty heavy and so I had to figure out another way to support the scale platform so that my pole wouldn't cause it to fall over. So here I'm using some boards that I had lying around to build a support that pushes against the tire and that will keep the platform supported. Now the other idea for securing the top of the, the scale platform was to use a rope and tie it to the bumper. But this rope didn't work out very well so I changed it and I decided to use some some eye bolts that I could tie some rope directly into. So here I'm drilling the holes for the eye bolts and then I screw them in with a screwdriver. And here I'm using some 550 cord to tie to the eye bolts so that I can tie the scale platform to the bumper. And there's success. I was able to get the pole to stay there. And these boards are uh, what represent the feet 
pressing against the scale. And then I set up my strap to the anchor tree and then I measure the pole because I want to set it up so that this this lever is a 1 to 5 system. Here's the chain for the pulley system. And then there is my block and tackle. And that's how I store it. And so I'm getting it all set up and hooking it to the chain. And then I get it all set up to attach to the anchor tree. And now we're just about ready. Okay, so whenever I do a pull on a pulley system, I always tie it around my waist so that I'm not injuring my back or shoulders. There's my trusty bowline. And we're ready to pull. So with my 5 to 1 pulley system and the lever set up in a 1 to 5 divider, what we see on the scale is actually the amount of force that I'm able to pull directly. And it looks like it's not as much as I thought. Let's take a closer look. 135? That's it? I think there's a video clip that explains how I feel right now. <gasps> no! I'm an overweight middle-aged man. So, I rechecked the angle, and it's not enough to explain my wimpy results. And then, I also remeasured, and my calculations were correct, so I am only able to apply a pulling force of 135 pounds. Well, that sucks. But, if I multiply by 5, I actually can see that my pulley system applies a 675 pound force to whatever I am attempting to pull with it. That seems pretty good to me. Hey, if you like my videos and find value in them, consider subscribing. Thanks. See you later.